Welcome back, you little pieces of little god sons of bitches. This was a good race. This is the card, this is the track, and this is a cat who decided to just stand up and walk on two legs. I can't decide if I think that is cute or creepy. Anyway, we are doing uh, 13 laps of Snedderton, starting in P8 with a 150.6, so over a second off of pole position. Uh, so not really looking for a race win here. We are in some pretty hefty company here. Eduardo Santos, very fast driver, starting in P7 ahead of us. Car number 18 in P9 actually gets a good launch, but kind of gets held up behind Eduardo and is very patient and slows down. Meanwhile, I am just about sending it around the outside of Eduardo, barely hanging on to the space that is allowed there by him heading too wide into corner two he's on the inside and i'm gonna send it a little bit deep here initially looking for a good line out but i end up sliding my tires and the line was honestly cooked to begin with that was just a stupid decision by me and it has resulted in me being put under pressure by car number 18 and the car uh, side by side with him that is colby warren he will be a prominent player in this race slightly falling off of eduardo as i made that mistake out of turn two but we're able to kind of close that gap back up through the augustini hairpin Colby and Mateus have settled their battle behind us with Colby landing in front of him. A few cars ahead of us, TJ McLean currently in P4 looking for a podium position up the inside and car number three following up, following him through up the inside. A little bit of contact between car number two and car number 11, but it did not look malicious. So that all happened just a few cars ahead of us and I'm watching this from back here, hoping that the uh, fighting will continue, realizing that car number 11 has fallen backwards two positions already. I'm really hoping that somebody else is going to look to get around him pretty soon. Fast forwarding to lap number three, and car number three is looking to go around the outside of TJ McLean through corner one. He's slightly ahead as they enter the braking zone, and it looks like car number two, TJ McLean, takes a little bit too much speed, makes contact with car number three. They both go flying off the track. TJ McLean is facing backwards, car number three rejoining the track, and we will pick up both of those positions. So up into P6 now, and the uh, car who, car number three, Juan Gomez, he is now right behind us, and I mean, he is right behind us as he rejoined the track pretty swiftly, and I don't want to stay in front of this guy for all that long. I know that he is very fast. I'm not super confident on Snedderton. This was, um, I, I didn't get to practice this track as much as I probably should have. So coming into Augustini, and I'm going to lock up my tires slightly, go deep, and this is the perfect opportunity for me to let Juan through. And honestly, I should have just parked my car, gotten out, and shoved my face into the dirt because he's going to throw it all over me right here. Just about made me flinch as I was uh, driving this race. Taking a look at the relative, and behind Colby, we have a familiar face. I don't know if you guys know Joey, but he is right behind us. If you don't know him, watch any of my other videos and you will probably see him in there. So he's making his way towards us, although we do have a pretty big gap behind uh, Colby to him. So there's me and Colby, and there's Joey kind of at the start of the straight while we are coming towards the end of the straight already. As we head towards the bomb hole, which then leads into, I think it's like Corum Corner or Crom Crombo Corner. What is this? Corum. I love that they have the names of the corners on the corners at this track. Every track should do that. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so we, we come through Quorum. I absolutely love this corner, eating a little bit more dirt from Juan Gomez and actually separating ourselves from Colby by, by about two tenths, which isn't massive, but it does help because turn one is a big opportunity uh, for an overtake, so we keep ourselves safe there. Flashing ahead to lap number five and Will Lewis, Williams eSport driver, looking up the inside of Eduardo into corner two. A slight contact. Once again, nothing malicious. I would say that's a good move. And he now finds himself between uh, Will Lewis and Juan Gomez. So two very fast drivers he is sandwiched between. And I have the good fortune of kind of being right behind him, able to watch this, not under a ton of pressure. Colby Warren still about a half of a second behind us. And uh, I'm not quite sure where Joey is looking at the relative. I don't see him anymore. But rest easy because we will see him again. A little bit of foreshadowing there. Throw that shit. I guess it's not foreshadowing if you say it's foreshadowing. But is it? It might be. Ahead of us, the battle is still raging with Will Lewis still leading. We've got car number four, car number five, and car number three in P4, 5, and 6. And surely this is going to yield a good battle. Gomez looking for a late apex and a really good run. And sure enough, it's going to be better than Eduardo's ahead of him. And it looks like he has the run. He's moving to the outside for the next corner. They're going to go through side by side. Will Lewis giving the slipstream to Gomez. But before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the like, the subscription button, and the bell beneath the video. However, I want to earn that shit like a man, so I offer a wager. My girlfriend is going to get five tries. If she can hit the bucket, then you have to like and subscribe. Oh, man. <gasps> <laughs> Let me 
gonna give it a try. slightly over five so i'll leave it up to your jurisdiction but she made it so keep that in mind car number three juan gomez going around the outside of eduardo through the chicane gets a little bit of oversteer trying to correct it he does end up correcting it however he's off the track rejoining runs in to eduardo and here we come through with colby right behind us here's my view of that both of them hitting each other splitting the difference between them and as i rejoin i get pinched between colby and eduardo have to slow down as eduardo kind of pulls really far to the right there i think that was just the line that he had for his re-entry so sadly we don't end up gaining that position but we do gain the one from Juan Gomez. We now have Juan Puyo behind us. Uh, Puy Puyo. And um, he's, he's not close behind us. So we're still not really in any trouble. Still in P7 as well as Colby has just moved up from P8 to P7 to P5. Excuse me. So gaining three positions for Colby. And by the time lap number seven comes around, Eduardo is just hounding Colby down as he has been for a couple of laps. And I am able to just kind of hang right back and watch the fight go down ready to pounce if something opens up which i'm assuming eventually it will um if, if nothing else then i'll be able to watch eduardo make a move around colby and learn some things about colby's driving to aid me and making an overtake later on in the race so only 0.7 seconds to Colby as we cross the line for lap number eight. So we're all within a second, all within about three tenths of a second. Coming through turn one, it's going to drop down briefly to about half of a second. But sadly, I get a small amount of oversteer mid corner and it's going to drop me off just slightly. Eduardo looking for a move into corner two up the inside, breaking very late, slight contact. It happens a lot on this corner. Colby trying to maintain the outside. He's done it. He is alongside as they head into corner three. This is a Palmer corner and side by side all of the way through here eduardo does very well to take a, a very tight line and uh, both of them allowing good space still side by side as we head into augustini i am absolutely shitting my pants watching this i love i just this is part of my favorite part of racing is watching two people right in front of you or uh, i mean better to be in there but i i kind of am and uh, you'll see in just a second i i will be as colby takes a little bit of a reserve line they're moving to the left side opening up the inside for me i'm going around he runs into eduardo who kind of moves over under breaking uh, questionable move there, but I think he was just trying to open that up slightly for himself. I don't think it was malicious. I find myself now up the inside as we head through Williams corner onto the straight there now side by side behind me and I have jumped to both of them so I'm up into P5 and I am maintaining a defensive position Colby is staying out wide we have Eduardo right behind us about halfway down the straight he moves over to open up himself for the breaking zone and look at this move my god around the outside I was very reserved on my braking I definitely could have pushed that a bit harder and sadly I push it too hard too late end up driving slightly off of the track Colby's going to go back through on the inside as I struggle to find grip getting out of that corner and into quorum we are on the outside I absolutely love this corner, really pushing to maintain grip and track position at the same time on the outside, which turns into the inside at the end of the corner, and Colby opens it up, but as he turns in, I'm kind of there on the apex. We make contact, and I am solidly into P6 as we cross the line to start lap number nine. Now, all of that fighting did let Eduardo dart away as soon as we got through the chicane. He kind of took off, and me and Colby began our battle. Coming through the first corner of lap number nine, I push it a little bit too hard too early, maintaining too much steering, overcorrect twice off of the track. I'm into the dirt. I am trying to rejoin, but there's cars flying past me. This is uh, Juan Pollo, and I... <laughs> I tried to stay out wide not to run into him. I didn't want to have a bad rejoin, and I really, I, I didn't realize how much track was left. So very stupid error for me as I'm going to drop down significantly, Join, rejoining the track in P10 now, and we have somebody just about a second and a half behind us. The two guys ahead of us are about two seconds up the road from us, or P9 is about two seconds up the road from us. So very, very silly error. All of that fighting and great racing just to throw it away like that. Really, really upset with myself. Um, I was very upset in the moment with myself. Not, not very... I was very, not very upset, but I was very upset with myself. I realized what I did wrong and what I need to do better. Skipping ahead to lap number 11, and we are chasing down P9. We've closed the gap by about a second. It's now sitting at around eight tenths. He drives off the track. As he pulls on, I pull way too far to the left, end up getting slight oversteer. We settle right behind him, and I mean right behind him by about one tenth. We still have slightly more speed than him. 
He commits to a semi-defensive line, pulls back over to the outside. We go up the inside, and in an effort not to repeat what happened to Juan and TJ McLean, I think on that was lap three or lap four, we back out as he kind of cuts back across as well. There is a lot of opportunity for contact there, and this is lap 12 currently, so the penultimate lap, it's only a 13-lap race. We're looking to get a move done here soon. I mean, soon the race will end, so preferably we could get a move done before the race ends. If I had to guess where to make a move, I mean, it would probably be at the end of that straight into the chicane through Corum Corner or into the first corner and skipping ahead to the chicane on lap number 12. He goes extremely fast through it, ends up taking a lot of curb as he struggles to open up his um, open up his line there. I get slight oversteer as I'm trying to find my line and I think I had just absolutely cooked my my tires at this point. That slide earlier was kind of proof of that through Corum for the penultimate time and we don't really find ourselves in a position to look for a move. I'm trying to push just kind of to get in his head but I'm not thinking about sending anything any type of way through there. Hopefully first corner for the final time as we head on to the final lap perhaps this could be it we have the slipstream we are flying up behind him once again looking up the inside gonna try and break slightly later this time find that inside line hug it and we end up making contact with him in a very similar instance to what happened with tj and um gomez earlier it did look like it was net code and you know it's always net code in this game anyway we lose a ton of positions there goes joey hi joey um so we're gonna chase joey down we are now into p14 and by the time we get back up to full speed uh p15 is not far behind us fortunately i don't know uh, if he was struggling with incident points but he wasn't really aggressive with us at all we're gonna hop on board with joey who is watching the fight for p10 rage directly ahead of him so that's car number 18 and i think that's car number nine ahead of them as car number 18 heads through williams onto the very long straight really hunting a good exit similar to what gomez did earlier and he has the slipstream car ahead has a zero slipstream so he has a massive speed different difference tucking to the outside gonna hop on board with joey watching them go side by side into the chicane car number 18 looking to go around the outside goes deep keeps his car there makes slight contact this is going to allow joey into the fight so he is now right behind 18 almost looks for a move there 17 behind him has now caught up and they are two by two heading through the bomb hole it kind of spreads out here and joey ends up maintaining a very tight line there he's looking to go up the inside of this guy as we are just behind him 17 watching the battle from behind trying to follow joey through car number nine really pushing for track position and ends up locking up his tires making contact and joey i mean that, uh, they got locked up that was it happened the way it happened fortunately we are going to pick up that position and we now move up into p13 on the final corner so still really abysmal compared to where we were at one point but i mean that's racing so we crossed the line in p13 and man i'm gonna miss this track uh, i wish i had more time on it this was our last race heading around turn one to park our car see joey almost run into him look at these lightning fast reflexes boom right just in time uh, from him and then we do our whole little dance you know we try and hit each other end up not hitting each other i actually had 16 incident points going into this so i was a bit scared of him hitting me you see me peeling out very late reactions for myself and yeah we just kind of drove to the next corner and parked it there to finish this race out now let's take a look at the results it wasn't good it was not good so finishing p13 major fall from grace for us we lost both i rating and safety rating 30 i rating down to just about 3900 at this point not that much safety rating considering the fact that we finished with 16 incident points so one more of those and we would have had a drive through uh, could have been worse though could always be worse if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to support me please check out some of my other videos and my channel it helps me out a ton